Hey guys, it's Jason over at Kaiser Willys Auto Supply. And today I'll be installing all of the pieces that go onto your master brake cylinder in order to attach the brake light switch and the wiring. So here you've got our master cylinder. This is the later style master cylinder. You can see by the open holes that this is the later style and not the early style. Here's the hardware that goes onto this master cylinder. First thing we're gonna talk about is the cap. This is the cap that's gonna come with it. This is the military cap. It's got a hole there for a port. Uh, basically, you can use this one for any of these master cylinders. All you have to do is just plug off that hole. You just take this little plug here, run it in, and then you're pretty much set. You can use that one on this. Here's our cap. You can see, again, it doesn't have a hole here. We've got three different style brake light switches. You've got the early style, which has the male terminals. You've got the style that goes up until about the mid 60s. That's the female terminals and then the blade terminals. So here's the one for the early style. This is gonna be two male ports. We're not gonna use that one. The one that we'll be using on the CJ2A is gonna be the one with two female ports. And then this is the later style CJ5. It's got the blade terminals. So this is the one we'll be using. Basically, you just have two bullet connections coming off of your harness and it goes in right there. The next thing we'll talk about is your Y port fitting. We've got two of these as well. On like the CJ2A, the 3A, and the CJ5, you've got this two port here. This one's more heavy duty for those truck and station wagon with different size brake lines. So the first thing to talk about here is gonna be the cap. There's a gasket here. Gasket just fits right around the cap. Then you take your master cylinder and you'll thread that on. Get it nice and snug. We're not gonna get it over tight because we aren't putting fluid in it quite yet. Then you have your dust boot where your plunger goes. And then on the back side, this is where all of your hardware is going to attach. The next thing we're gonna grab is your outlet bolt. You have two different collars here, and that is by design because you have two different copper crush washers, two different IDs. You have an inner and an outer. So we're gonna go ahead and put the one with the larger ID on first. Then we'll grab our Y port fitting, slip it into place. We'll then take the one with the smaller ID and slip it into place. Then you take your master cylinder, you'll run the bolt in. Make sure you don't crimp the copper crush washers. You wanna make sure they seat flush so they do kind of wiggle around a little bit here. Then you'll take your brake light switch. I do wanna note that this thread is a pipe thread. So when you go to run this into the master cylinder outlet bolt, it's gonna start getting tight before it bottoms out. That's by design because you have a pipe thread. Once you get it tight, you'll plug in the bullet connections from your harness, and there you have it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.